How are you doing, Prepper Link? Today we're going to discuss batteries, more specifically rechargeable batteries and how they should fit into your prepping plan. Um, all of us have single-use batteries. I store several dozen of them in a container like this. I like this container because it can take a beating, it's not opening up. Uh, so whenever you find a container for your batteries, get one that is very durable. This is a Plano tackle box. Um, but those single-use batteries are just that, single-use. And in reality, if you really think about it, I can take one rechargeable battery and it is equal to more than these. All right, depending on your rechargeable battery, this is a Sanyo Enelope. Um, it's rated up to 1,500 charges. So even if you get a third of those charges, it's still more than your single-use batteries. The trick with single-use batteries is one, they don't last that long. You have to buy a quality battery. Um, I select Duracell. They have a seven to 10 year warranty depending on when you buy them. And that's seven to 10 years from when you purchase them to when they actually have to be used. But outside of that window, again, once you use them, they're gone. It's just garbage. For rechargeable batteries, there's a lot of considerations that you have to think about before you start purchasing them. Um, one is to make sure that you have enough of them and we'll go over that here in a minute and the other thing is to make sure you have the correct sizes for your rechargeable batteries or if you're like me come up with a system where you only need a couple of sizes and then you can use adapters and things like that to uh, make them more compatible with other devices but for rechargeable batteries you need a charger you can get a AC charger this is just a four battery charger it does double A or triple A um, and it's a Sanyo. It's made to go with the Sanyo Antelope batteries. Or you can get um, a charger, and this is a 16-bay titanium smart charger um, that can condition your batteries. The cool thing about this charger is it's also 12 volt, so I can use it with my solar battery pack here, or I can use it with any battery and 12 volt power adapter. When talking about sizes, the general sizes that you're going to use for your electronics are AAA, more common is AA, C and D. Um, I think I have more devices that are AA and D than AAA and C, but that's just me and how I, I purchase my devices. Um, so the, the key that you have to figure out is whether or not you're going to get rechargeable D batteries, which I do not, or you're going to make your A's, AAA's and AA's work for you for your C and D sizes. To do that, you can purchase adapters. There's two main types. There's a shell enclosure. Uh, basically, there's a snap on it. And this particular enclosure takes two AA batteries. And there's also a little enclosure that you just slide a battery in. This is the antelope uh, adapter. And you can buy these in a kit with antelope batteries. Um, these adapters are great. The key to adapters though is you have to make sure that they work with all your devices and a good example of that is this O2 Cool battery pack that I have here and it's for the O2 Cool fans um, or really any 12 volt device because it has a 12 volt outlet there um, will not work with these snap or shell enclosures. It won't work with it. I try to modify it today um, if you put four D's and also four of these in there, you can get it to work, but it takes eight D cell batteries and I cannot get them to work with those shell enclosures. Maybe if I went with a different brand, that might not be the case, but with that particular model of shell enclosure, it won't work. It will work with eight antelope batteries though. So it just has to do with how these enclosures or these adapters are made. So whenever you get an adapter, you really need to test it out against your devices to make sure that it's going to be compatible. Most shell enclosures will take two uh, AA batteries and that's good because when you talk about batteries now you need to understand milliamp hours. Um, this battery right here, the antelope, this is one of the older model ones. It has 1900 milliamp hours. The newer ones have 2000 to 2300 milliamp hours. All right, um, But to give you a little perspective, a D-cell battery 
has, I, I believe, the standard's about 4,500 milliamp hours. This is 19, so this is roughly a little less than half of the same power as this one. So with these snap enclosures, or these shell enclosures, you use two AA batteries, so that's 3,800 milliamp hours, which is great because you have a lot more reserve capacity. Whereas with this Inelope single battery um, slide-in shell enclosure, uh, you would only have 1,900 milliamp hours, or up to 2,500, depending on which brand of battery that you go with. Another thing about batteries is you can buy the cheap eBay versions of these batteries. And let me get one of them out to show you. You know, I thought I'd save a few bucks and buy a cheap version of this, and this is a Powerizer battery. Um, it's the same size. Everything's compatible. It'll work with the shell enclosures or the slide-in enclosure. The key, though, is this is only 700 milliamp hours. This is 19. So this battery is about three times more storage capacity than this one. So if you do cost comparison now, this one should cost three times as much as this one. So if you're trying to save a buck or two, you can go ahead and purchase these. But in the long run, this is the better bat purchase, the Enelope battery. So to demonstrate how these batteries are compatible, I have four D-cell adapters here, eight total AAA batteries, and this is for my Coleman CPS lantern. So I can just slide this in here now, turn it on, and I have power. So that converted eight AA batteries to four D-cells, and it is compatible with this device. Again, you have to check that out. Here's an O2 Cool small portable fan. This one, you can plug in the battery. Um, 12 volt adapter to it if you want, but it also takes two D cell batteries. And just to show you how compatible these are, I'm going to put a normal D cell in it and also an adapted D cell. I'm going to turn on the fan and you can see that it works. All right, so these adapters work. You just have to figure out which of your devices that they're going to work with. In addition to D and C adapters that we have been showing you today, uh, you can also get AAA to C adapters and AAA to AA adapters. So whenever you're picking out your devices or picking out your batteries to match your devices, see if there's a shortcut and, and purchase adapters instead of purchasing a lot more batteries. The downside of not having a lot of batteries is this. Let's say I want to run this fan using this battery pack. Again, it takes eight D-cell batteries in this little carousel. All right, I would need 16 AA batteries to power this. I would also need a way to charge 16 batteries, hence why I got the big battery charger instead of the small one. Um, so if I wanna run this device, as well as several of these or other fans or whatever, you really need to count your batteries to make sure that you have enough to meet the need. Also, you have to make sure that you have enough adapters. So to the order of precedence, you know, I'd recommend getting enough batteries to fill your adapters. Buy all the adapters that you're going to need and then some extra adapters uh, just in case they break. Um, some of these are flimsy. The envelopes are great quality, but the little shell adapters aren't great. Um, and then start investing more in batteries again. Please let us know if you have any questions. Um, go to the website, respond to the article, or leave us a note here on YouTube. And thanks again.